Hi, Christoph here from UGCS. Welcome back to our series of autopel precision comparison. In this series of videos, we compare popular drone autopels by flying them in a simple photogrammetry route created in UGCS flight planning software, and we analyze the results. In this week's video, we will look at the flight results of Pixhawk with Articopter 3.4.6 firmware for straight and spline trajectories. The autopel was mounted on a 3DR Iris platform. This is the same platform that we used for our test of the PX4. For analyzing the flight trajectory, we will use Google Earth. Here is the original route imported into Google Earth. First, let's take a look at the straight trajectory. Right from the start, you can observe that the flight is very smooth and precise. The corners are executed in a similar and consistent pattern, and the drone has no problems keeping to the survey lines. Altitude-wise, you can see that the flight height corresponds exactly to the altitude set throughout the route with no significant deviations. When looking at the results of the spline trajectory, you can see that the corners are cut a bit sooner than in the straight trajectory and the curve is not tangent to the ending survey line, which is to be expected in this turn type. There is a slight difference in the cornering pattern when comparing the first and the second corner, as well as a slight deviation from the smooth trajectory after the second corner. Altitude-wise, again, the drone seems to have no problems keeping to the altitude set. Overall, the performance from Pixhawk with Articopter 3.4.6 firmware is very good with a smooth and precise flight trajectory, and certainly seems to be one of the top all pilots performance-wise tested so far. It also seems that the straight trajectory is more consistent than the spline trajectory. And that is all for this week's video. The links for the camel files from the flights can be found in the video description below. If you are interested in seeing any of the previous videos in the series, they can be found on our YouTube channel UGCS TV, as well as on our website. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media and see you in the next week's video.